Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Boy, oh boy, was that a disappointing season finale of Seeking Sisterize. First of all, a lot of us didn't even know that it was the season finale. Um, still no word if we're going to have a reunion or not. But um, it just kind of ended and it was a super bummer because I definitely have so many questions on most of the couples. But... Um, I wanted to talk about some things regarding the Merrifields today. Appar apparently, they're still together. That's being reported in a couple um, Facebook groups. So we'll get into that. Also, it seems like they are building some sort of huge... Uh, they bought property in Colorado and they're building like a huge house on it. So looks like um, all's well that didn't really end at all. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this was posted um, and the group, it's a Seeking Sister Wife. I'll link the group because you guys have asked in the past. I'll link the group um, in the description of this video, but someone, it was a repost from another group. And this person, it was from a couple days ago. It said, so I was at a bar with a friend last night and started chatting to the guy next to me who was with his wife. Then I realized they looked super familiar. Danielle was an absolute delight. Garrick was super sweet and they seemed incredibly happy. We were all a little tipsy, so the photos are terrible, but they were happy to take them and we closed down the bar together. So it seems like they um, are happy. The, the two of them are still together. I have not heard any word on Roberta's visa on what's going on with that. Um, is she pregnant? Um, I'm sure that that would have leaked by now. Um, but this showed, so that when they first went, so they were in the mid middle of filming when everything shut down due to COVID and they had to go, well, we didn't see them for several months according to like how the storyline played out. But then, so it was between their first trip to Mexico and their second trip to Mexico was eight months. This had to have been, it had to have been at least eight-ish months since they stopped filming. So I know paperwork goes really slowly, but if they had already applied, I know their divorce was finalized in February of 2020. We should have, maybe could have. Um, heard something by now about uh, Roberta's visa. We Well, we know the first step was approved, but you know, how quickly do you go to the interview process then? I don't know. So I, but I haven't heard anything and it's, it's driving all of us crazy that we know. Uh, and on top of that, we just never knew, a, we never found out anything about Roberta, uh, just that she was living with, I think it was her mom and she had to move out when she got Rona and she was living with a cousin, but we never, I mean, probably due to safety issues, they couldn't go down there during that time to film. It's probably too risky. Um, but we just, we don't know anything. We, we knew more about Crystalline's family and we knew very little about her family. So it's just very, very interesting. We do know though, to be fair, she did bring her mother on the first trip. So we do know that she has a good relationship with her mother. So there's that. Now let's get into this article that was posted by The Sun um, last week. Um, it says Garrick and Danielle are building a home for $241,000 as he is trying to have a baby with his fiance Roberta on the show. So, la 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 la. Garrick spent $57,000 on two acres of land in Buena Vista on April 27th, 2020. On September 4th of that year, Danielle's name was added to the deed. According to property records, the couple filed permits to build a 3,900 square foot two-story home in 2020 for the value of $163,973. Now, anyone that has ever lived in ma a major metropolitan area is gagging at these prices. I couldn't live in a trash can in LA for this much money. And there, these pictures, I'll put some of the pictures online of just like the area. It's so gorgeous. So if I... 
not sure what uh, Garrick does for a living. I've heard construction, but uh, man, to be able to live in a place like this and to be able to build your dream home pretty cost effectively, good on you, Mary Merrifield, good on you. Um, they also filed permits to build a 1,000 square foot detached garage. Um, but well, these pictures are just so pretty. They filed permits for a driveway, breaking news. Um, the land sale came just months after Garrick and Danielle divorced. Um, they filed their divorce petition on November 14th, 2019. It was finalized on February 20th. So what do you guys think about this? Are we going to see one big happy family? You know, um, the sister wives, the Browns have Coyote Pass in Arizona that they've bought. I think it's been years and they haven't done anything with the property. Um, but it looks like um, all steam ahead, all systems go for the Merrifields. And it is interesting to me that Danielle just seems absolutely miserable on the show. But we have seen a couple photos, a couple pictures of her come out where she seems absolutely happy. So is part of it editing that we have to blame? I don't know. Um, uh, is Garrick really a charmer more so than he comes across on TV? I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, and we'll be, we'll be following this up. Uh, do you guys think there's going to be a reunion? Have you heard anything about a reunion? If so, let me know. Um, it's just, um, that was such a weird family vacation <laughs> bringing your kids and your in-laws on your bang trip. And you're not even staying in like a huge resort where maybe you're on opposite sides of the hotel. It's like you guys are all staying in one house together. It's just so weird. Let me know what you guys thought about that. I know a lot of people had opinions about that. Anyways, guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, you guys. Take care. Much love.